Hey guys, Johnny Old School here, and uh, yesterday, me and my buddy Painkiller had the wonderful opportunity to actually get to sit down and share a couple beers and talk with none other than the owner of Craft Beer Importers Canada himself, a Mr. Christian Finns. Uh, he's the guy who's behind the whole uh, Craft Beer Advent Counter this year that everyone was talking about, and uh, it was pretty cool sitting down with him. And we left there with no fewer than two giant boxes of amazing craft import beers. I mean, look at all this. Jesus. Jesus. Look, Jesus. Even more Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I got uh, even more Jesus from Evil Twin Brewing. Evil Twin Brewing is a uh, brewery originating from Denmark, I believe. They're a gypsy brewery, which means that they don't actually have their own brew house. They kind of piggyback on other breweries using their equipment to produce uh, one-off brews. And let me tell you, Evil Twin has been astounding so far. We've had a couple of beers on the show, and uh, I think our favorite so far was the Malta Cocktail Beer, which is like a 13% beer. Fantastic, who knew? This is an Imperial Stout, um, aged in port barrels, 12% product from Denmark. This is going to be insane. So, without further ado, even more Jesus. I walk in the bar and the fellas all cheer. Order me up a whiskey and beer. You ask me why I'm writing this poem. Some call it a tavern, but I call it home. So if anyone's wondering why Painkiller isn't accompanying me on this review, it's because we simply have too many beers in our stockpile now to review, and there's no way that we're going to be able to get together enough times, drink three beers, do the full episode. And besides, we've kind of decided that we're going to do a little shorter episodes, hold people's attention spans a little bit more. So let's get started with that, with uh, even more Jesus from Evil Twin Brewing. Overwhelming aromas of chocolate, coffee, dark fruits, and oh Christ. If this tastes like chocolate, Johnny ain't going to be happy. Please don't fizz, please don't fizz. Thank God, no fizz. Gotta get my uh, fancy snifter out here, because Junk is a classy bitch. Wow, that is dark. Oh, it's like dark and syrupy. Jesus Christ. Oh, and I can smell it from here. It looks like a dark red, almost like a, like some sort of synthetic oil for a race car or something like that. Or maybe like a deep black cherry soda or something. Thus far, I can see no light escaping its surface. It is a black hole. It smells fucking fantastic. It smells almost like a sort of like smoky cherry kind of flavor. Wow. It doesn't smell strong or overpowering. It doesn't smell bitter. It doesn't smell like chocolate. It doesn't smell like coffee. It smells like sweet and fruity. Well, this is going to be very interesting. A 12% Imperial Stout from Evil Twin Brewing, who hasn't let me down in the past. Bottoms up. Oh my god. Wow. It's reminiscent of a lot of um, Trappist Belgian ales that I've had. Um, just in the way that the, the flavor is so dark and complex and, and sweet. You don't really notice that it's a 12% beer until afterwards, uh, after you swallow. And all of a sudden you, see, you feel that kind of burning warmth right around here that you don't get when you take a sip of a regular uh, 5% uh, Old Milwaukee or something like that. But um, let's try some more here. Mm. Yeah, I can kind of taste like a bit of like the bitter coffee notes in there. Um, not a whole lot of chocolate, just maybe like the slightest little bit in the aftertaste. This is impressive. I don't like stouts, guys. I think if you watch the show at all, I've complained about stouts many times. I generally don't like them because they're bitter and dark and black and gross. But this is fucking fantastic beer. Mm. Very impressive. Um, straight up, I would buy this again. I would get drunk off of it. In fact, I'm going to have a probably a pretty nice buzz after I get through uh, this glass here, because uh, that'll, uh, that'll keep you warm during winter, that's for sure. Well, even more Jesus, one of the more holy beers I've tried, really. Perhaps I should say a prayer to the beer guards. Dear beer Jesus, thank you for providing this Denmarkian gypsy brewery to bring forth this lovely black, dark, red, fruity imperial stout from the bottling plants into my cup. And make my hangover be not strong, my lord, so that I may wake up refreshed and ready once again to drink the holy ambrosia that is Evil Twin. Mmm. 
fucking good. Will the circle be unbroken? By and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting in the sky, oh, in the sky.